Welcome back. This is uh, part two of the Raspberry Pi based controller. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about the uh, wiring. Um, this is just going to be my test rig. Um, when it's actually installed with the machine, it'll look a whole lot different. But uh, just to make sure everything's working the way it should, I just uh, put some stuff down here on this board. Um, you can see my, I screwed my drivers down and labeled them X, Y, Z, and A, which corresponds to the Raspberry Pi, X, Y, Z, and A, um, just to keep everything straight. I've also put little flags on my motors, X, Y, Z, A, and I've pre-wired up the motors to the uh, terminals on the uh, drivers, just so it's uh, done and out of the way. Um, when you're looking at the drivers, um, they're slightly different than what is on the uh, um, Raspberry Pi CNC hat. Uh, the main difference is if you look at the side here, up here we have, um, we have pulse, uh, we have direction, and enable. Um, and so, but when we look at the Raspberry Pi, we have ground, enable, step, and direction. So we don't have pulse. Uh, pulse and step are the same. So that's the only difference that you have to remember when you're redoing your wiring. Um, and uh, so let me throw a couple pieces together here and we'll show you what else we got going on. Okay, so this is the power supply. This is a 48 volt, 500 watt power supply. Um, you can see down here, here's how you wire it up. You, this is all stuff coming in from uh, um, from the mains, and then your output's going to the uh, um, stepper uh, drivers. So, real simple to, to hook up. Um, the power from the uh, um, mains, uh, right now it's just a cutoff cord that I used. Um, you're going to notice here that the black uh, negatives and the white positives are slightly different uh, um, thicknesses. Don't do that on your final rig. This is just what I had lying around. Um, it is 20 gauge wiring um, for the black, so it's still fine for the equal to 20 gauge wiring of the motors. Um, but uh, overall, I believe this is 16 or 18. I think it's 16. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing everything with. Um, I just had some scrap uh, 20 gauge black, so that's what I use for the moment, just to do some quick testing. Um, all right, and uh, so um, something to remember with your power supply is that there's usually, if you look at the back here, there's a switch right here. Um, look in there and find out if it's a, it's set at 120 or 220, or 110 or 220. Um, and make sure you flip the switch to the whatever's applicable for your area. Otherwise, it's not gonna work right. Probably blow it up. Um, so just make sure you do that. Here we have a piece of Cat5 cable that I cut to do the uh, signal processing or signal transfer from the drivers um, to the Raspberry Pi. Um, you can see here, there's a, I actually made a few little jumpers, so the brown is the ground, um, the blue is the enable, uh, green is the step, and uh, the orange was a uh, um, direction, I think is how I have it wired in there. I'll have to look again. Uh, you know, it's, uh, make sure, it, it, well, you will see here, I got, look, here's a couple loops. Um, those were just loops for the ground. So if you're going to do that and not use the same color, just be careful. Um, so I, I have the grounds going from one to the other and then back on the main ground um, instead of running three separate grounds. Um, you know, they're all little screw terminals, really simple to put in. Um, nothing really big to worry about there. Um, I used the twisted pairs. Um, this is 24 gauge inside the Cat5. Uh, and you know they're kind of they're doubled up really uh this is probably the most time consuming process of the entire thing is doing this wiring these little guys up um but what what they do i also i, I labeled it 
um, for which axis that I took it off of or, or made it for. So it's pretty simple, it just they just plug right in, right into there, and right into there. Make sure they're seated all the way down. I like to give each one a, just a little tug, making sure that it's that they're all secure. Um, this end will go into the Raspberry Pi. So um, I'll be right back. I'll show you how it is all hooked up after that. So here's all the uh, Cat5 cables plugged into the Raspberry Pi now. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is the motor wiring. Uh, the motor wiring goes into this front section here, along with the power from the um, uh, power, well, from the power supply. It's called a power supply. Duh. Okay, so these first two are the positive and grounds for the power supply, and then the remaining four are the ones from the motors here. Um, they're they're supposed they're in two phases. You got an A phase and a B phase. Um, it's real important to make sure that you get them wired properly. Um, for mine, it's red, red and blue and black and green. Um, it's real simple to verify. Uh, even if you have something that shows what your wires are supposed to go to, it's good to verify how to do it. Um, it's real simple too. Uh, when, uh, when they're not hooked up to anything, you know, when they're not, uh, well, all four wires are free, you should be able to turn the motor pretty simple. It's not, not a whole lot of resistance in there. Um, and then take two wires and ground them out together. Uh, just hold them together. And then try to turn it again. Uh, if it's still that same pretty free resistance, no, no resistance, um, you've got opposite phases. Uh, so grab another one of the wires and try it again. You'll notice a much more um, resistive properties to it when you ground out one of the phases um, and that's how you'll you can verify that you have it wired up properly um, so you know and then in like in my case it was the red and blue and was one phase and black and green was the other so just double check it because um, you never know uh, if something got screwy in their factory of wherever these things come from so um, real simple other than that to uh, have this thing all wired together. Uh, at this point, we have uh, the power supply wired up. It's wired to the drivers. Uh, the drivers are wired to the motors. And the driver is wired to the Raspberry Pi. I have a supply wire coming, oh, I'm sorry, a power wire coming out of the Raspberry Pi and an HDMI cable going to the monitor. And there's my laundry. Um, and uh, so the next thing will be firing up uh, the Raspberry Pi. Pi, Pi, Raspberry Pi. It'd be nice if I could talk one of these days. Um, yeah, we're gonna fire up the Raspberry Pi and turn on uh, BCNC and uh, see if these motors will move. Okay, so we're all wired up and ready to go. Uh, the next installment of this video series will be um, showing you uh, BCNC, turning on the Raspberry Pi and, uh, and making these motors move. Um, at this point, you're all wired up, you're ready to test it out. Uh, like I said before, this isn't my final setup, it's just a test rig just to make sure that uh, everything works like it's supposed to. And uh, we'll plug it in to the uh, computer here and find out what happens. Join me next time. Uh, please like and subscribe. Much appreciated. And uh, we'll actually get some videos worth watching on this channel.